Hey YouTubers, Scott Devine here from scottsbasslesson.com. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the world right now, but hopefully it's gonna become a little bit better as we delve into the world of Jacko Pastoris. Obviously, most of us know exactly who Jacko Pastoris is, one of the most legendary bass players to have ever existed. And in this lesson, we're gonna be looking at five of his most awesome bass lines solos and licks and actually some of the stuff that I'm working on right now of just this week I've been trying to learn some of this stuff and I'll show you exactly how I'm doing that as we get into this lesson. So without further ado, let's jump in. So this first track is called Teen Town. No, not Dean Town. Teen Town. Obviously, if you're a fan of Wolfpack and Joe Dart, and you know the track Dean Town, it comes from, it's a play on Teen Town, the original that was written by Jacko Pistorius and performed with Weather Report. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna watch Jacko play, I'm gonna play along with Tab underneath and a metronome, so you can see how it's all put together. So, without further ado, let's check this out. So as you can see, it's a bit of a monster to get under the fingers, and that was a live version as well, which is a little, you know, it's a few ticks up from the original. So with that said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed it up, I'm gonna slow it down to 80 BPM, so you can see what's going on, and you can give it a try yourselves. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So this next track is Ian Hunter and the track's called All American Alien Boy. I actually have never heard this track. Doing the research for this video, I found it on YouTube and I was like, wow. The phrasing is unbelievable. And then right in the middle, there's this thing where he plays these fives that just blew my mind. So what I'm gonna do is play along with the track for you and then I'm gonna show you what's going on in them fives. Just look out for them, they are ferocious. <laughs> Like how amazing is that? It's just absolutely killing, isn't it? And those fives, the digga 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 digga. Do you want me to break that down for you? One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that descending run where he's playing those fives, like super cool, right? It's The whole thing is just from an E major pentatonic, right? E major pentatonic, and he's going, so he's going down five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then he ends on that note there, okay? So do 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 so good. So this next track is Come On, Come Over, um, recorded on Jaco Pistorius' first album, which was titled Jaco Pistorius. The first time I heard this, it was the first time I'd really heard Jaco Pistorius do that 16th note funk thing that he's super famous for. It blew my mind. So with that said, before we start doing it slow and all of those shenanigans, let's check out the track at full tempo. <laughs> So it's actually really hard to get that kind of feel down and it's the constant 16th notes that are the tricky bit. The best thing to do to learn a line like this is just to learn it note for note at a slower tempo and then look at increasing it over time and really focus on the velocity of the notes, the intensity that you're hitting the notes because they're not all equal. If you hear me, you can either go to gong, okay? Okay, they're all different. So here's the line in its entirety. One, two, three, four. So this next track is called Havona and it was originally recorded with Weather Report. If aliens came down to the earth and they said, Scott, we really want to know about Jaco Pastorius. What one track should we listen to which really encompasses everything about his playing? I would probably say Havona. Now I'm going to show you what is probably the most monstrous bass lick in any tune ever written okay, is in this track. And I'm gonna show you how to play it. I actually can't play it. I only worked it out yesterday for this video. I was like, what is that? So what I'm gonna do is play you like a 30 second segment of the track, which will end in this monstrous lick. And then I'm gonna show you the fingering for that lick. And maybe you can, you know, come on my journey of pain to try and get it down. So here's the, uh, here's the bass line, check this out. <laughs> Rhythmically, it's so awesome. Oh. So in the pocket as well. Are you ready? Here we go. What? Just one more time so you can hear that. I have no words, I have no words. It's just ridiculous, I've got no idea. And when you, it sounds ridiculous, but when you watch it on the instrument, it gets even more ridiculous. It's even worse than you think. You're thinking, yeah, it can't be that bad. It's bad, it's really bad. <laughs> Okay, so the fingering for this is Okay Cheapest creepers What a monster player so slowly it would be So this next track is called Kuru Speak Like a Child and it was, again, it was of Jaco Pistorius' first album. I think it was recorded in 1976, two years before I was born. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it along with the track because I began playing it yesterday. If the last lick is a 10, this is like a 9.9 .9 in terms of just extremeness, okay? You'll hear the string lines doing it first, okay? So the string lines do this lick a couple of times and then the bass plays the, that, the lick in unison with the strings. Let's do it. Here we 
Here we go. No, we don't. Here we go. What the? Let me just do that again. What the heck is that? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's actually a major pentatonic that they're using. Okay, so it's that C major pentatonic there, okay? But they're playing it in fives, right? So they're going up five and then Okay, so remember when we were doing the other one, we were descending in fives? Like that, it's the same kind of thing. So let me slow that down and play the entire lick slowly with a metronome so you can hear what it's like uh, in its entirety. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, smash that like button down below and make sure you're subscribed as well. That means that you'll be notified, well if you've got your notifications switched on, next time I release a video like this. And if you want to find out more about what we do here at Scott's Bass Lessons, the YouTube channel is really only scratching the very surface. Go check it out, scottsbasslessons.com is the ultimate online bass school for guys like you and girls like you that want to study bass from the comfort of their own home with the best bass tutors in the world. And you can take the entire platform for a 14 day, a 14 day test drive, free test drive, just to see if it's for you as well. And if you just want to dip your toe in the water, we also do an SBL toolkit as well, which is completely free, which includes stuff like how to dial in your bass tone, how to choose your next bass, how to really understand the modes and get out of that, oh, what the, what are the modes and that whole thing. If you want to check that out, I'll also put a link, put a link below, can't speak today, put a link below for that as well. Without further ado, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.